Hello everyone, welcome back to Sim Airport. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, you know, we ended up adding a ton of flights in here. Okay, so we've got, oh boy, do we have all these flights in here. Um, ton of flights today, ton of flights going on. Uh, biggest one that we have, 226 passengers. So what I'm thinking that we do first, first we finish up uh, ticketing. We get, um, take a look at our schedule, manage schedules, thank you very much. Uh, during operational hours, we want to ensure all of these are ready to go. Um, that's also going to mean that I'm going to need more staff here. So this is telling me I need three more staff. All right, so there's our three staff there. Okay. Um, now, let's see, our queues. Now, what I want to do today is we'll go ahead and once I get the queues built, um, you know, we'll kind of see what our, our passenger flow is going to be here. Um, which of course, that also reminds me, I kind of need to make sure that I have this up and running too. Uh, operational hours. Um, let's make sure, let's go with those. We have to open up more we will let's open up that one we have those and let's open up those that should be enough i'm hoping it's enough and there's our eight okay and then once we start seeing that that's pretty much working out like we want it to which it should um I'm going to focus on putting a cafe in back here. I think this this square back here is going to be our cafe. So we have our, our little arcade back here, right, that we built up, which got to love it. Uh, and then back here, we'll add our cafe in. Um, I, I think that's going to be big enough, but, you know, we're just going to we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, I do want to apologize to you guys for the infrequent videos that have been coming out lately, uh, mostly because Oh, a lot of stuff going on in life. <laughs> there, there really, really is. Um, you know, work schedule and stuff. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that um, I don't have a cue for this. <laughs> um, there are times where I have to work late at night, and that's what I've been having to do lately. So please don't mind me and my weird schedule, but... I'm going to do a little bit better about making sure that I get videos up. Um, I am getting ready to do another um, City Skyline series because, you know, a lot of people seem to be enjoying that. So we'll go ahead and get that going. And then I think what I'm going to start doing is, you know, I talked about doing this before. Um, there's just there's a lot of things that I want to do. There's a lot of things that I want to play. And I just don't have the time to do it, but I have the time to stream it. Um, so I think what I will start doing is I will start to uh, start streaming again and then I will um, just take those streams and then I will upload them here to YouTube. Um, it's just an easier way for me to save time and everything and to still be able to play the games that I want to play. Um, but I'll still, you know, focus on that that core uh, game, you know, when it comes to Sim Airport and City Skylines here on the channel because Quite honestly, those are the two games that really do a lot for the channel and to help grow it and to help keep you guys coming back for more. I think that's uh, that's kind of what we'll stick with. So anyway, um, that's done. Let's go ahead and hit play on the game. It's going to be very, very interesting. I do want to hang on. I do want to go into manage schedules and this needs to start at about. Can I move it back to 230? We can go operational hours to 2.30 instead. Because it seems like that's when the earliest passengers come in here is around 2.30 in the morning. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm really, really excited to kind of see how this is going to, to work. Um, I already have staff up here and ready to go, so that's fine. Um... Operational hours, closed hours, we'll get rid of them, but we are in operational hours now. Uh, go down. Okay. All right, we have our first passengers coming in. Yay!
they're they're getting in here pretty well. Let's see, they're getting in, they're moving through. We might want to consider opening up a few more ID check stands, though. This might end up being a, a choke point right here. First class is going very well. No, body scanners are actually working better than what they used to in the past. Oh, we've got people over here enjoying the arcade. Oh, no, people are coming over here to the vending machines. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So we have, we should have people coming upstairs and we do. They're waiting around. There's nowhere to sit yet, but um, they're waiting. They're, they're definitely waiting. Uh, let's go back down to the first floor. And everything seems to be working out pretty well. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm very, very happy with it. Okay. So knowing that just these two gates right here are able to handle really not a whole lot of capacity. Um, I mean, there's, there's really not much coming through here, so that's good. I think having the, the long corridors and stuff like that might help a little bit. Um, <laughs> apparently, this is a very bad idea. <laughs> apparently, having the vending machines in here is an extremely bad idea. So I'm going to have to move that. Maybe we'll create like a little vending machine area or a vending area over here. Um, now that the plane is here and it's available, looks like people are going to start coming upstairs. Let's see. Highlight passengers here and wow, a lot of them are still down here by the vending machines. Why? Why are you still down there by the vending machines? Looks like a lot of people that got off the plane, though, are coming into the arcade to kind of chillax a little bit. Yes, I said chillax. But OK, cool. Um, we have an issue though. Um, and that issue is that I only have one gate desk and we really need like two. Uh, so let's go with a second one there and a second one here. And then let me go ahead and no, it's not what I wanted to do. Let me go ahead and hire the extra two people that I'm going to need. Well, okay, we got people in there on time. We still got 25 minutes left to go. We've got baggage that still needs to be unloaded, though. Ooh, that's not good. All right, waiting for baggage to be unloaded. Is that... Ooh, that's a problem. That's... That's a big problem. Okay. Um... I... Yeah, yeah. Okay. No. I do not want to purchase land right now. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Um. All right. So medium hanger, large hanger. Let's go with a large hanger. Oh, I need to be on the ground floor. Um. Well, do I want a large hanger? Or do I want a medium hanger? Well, these really aren't hooked up to... This isn't hooked up to the baggage system. So what's what's taking so long for the baggage unload to happen? No available runway. There has to be an available... Oh, come on. Seriously? This is... <laughs> We're having all sorts of problems here with this flight. Seriously. Um, let's do some upgrades here. Let's upgrade ILS outdoors 15 meters away. 12 to 20 knots. Okay, so we'll put that there and then we'll upgrade. We'll do the same thing here. Totally forgot about those options. Okay, now we're good to go. <laughs> so that might have been delayed a little bit, but, um... Let's see, at gate, at gate. Our next one isn't until noon, so we're fine. We're good. Okay. Actually, we may not do the cafe today. We might just, uh, I think we'll just go through and make sure everything is operational here in the airport. Let's go ahead and 
add a vending machine area over here because these are not, that's just not good. Um, okay, so a drink vending machine will go, let's go every other. So one, two, three, four, all right. Uh, and then a food vending machine will go one, two, three, four. And then electronics vending will go one, two, three, four, like that. Okay. That'll help traffic a little bit in that area. Um, ooh, waste basket. Waste, no, garbage, garbage. There we go, garbage bin. Two, three, four. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four. That is horrible. <laughs> that is absolutely horrible. My God. Oops. Go down. Okay. That's better. <laughs> that is a lot better. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, why don't we... Let's see. We have this. I'm feeling like we should have like a restroom area over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking restroom. Let's go with restroom. Okay. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. See, so that'll give people a way to walk in to get to, to electronics vending. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's halfway. And then we'll clear out both of those for the doors. All right. So let's go wall here, there, and down through there. Here, there. Female restroom over on the left. Male restroom over on the right. Okay. All right, so flooring. We want to make sure that we have some very bright stone in here. So we'll get that in. Now, toilet stall, let's go, huh, oh, interesting, two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five, and that'll be for the ladies room, and then we need some sinks in there. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. Um, let's say... Okay, let's pause the game here because there's a whole lot happening right now that we need to take a look at. Um, doors. So let's go door there, door there. Toilets will go one, two... Whoops. One, two, three. Cancel project on that one. And urinals. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, and then sinks. Men can wash their hands, even though we know most men do not when they go into a restroom. I don't know what it is, but people are nasty. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't even know how many guys I've seen walk out of the bathroom not wash their hands. I don't like it. <laughs> it's a huge pet peeve of mine. But anyway. All right, that's good to go. That's good to go. We have people coming up and down. Let me take a look at the flights here. So we've actually had nothing has been canceled today. Yes. Um, and every flight has left in the green, not only left in the green, but every single flight has had all of their passengers board. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. This is an absolute mess. Like, seriously, an absolute mess. That needs to be assigned to here. So, that's an oops. <laughs> that is an absolute oops. Um, let's see. During operational hours, you need to be open. And you need to be open. You need to be assigned to here. That's, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's just not good. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, baggage is going to be a bit of an issue with that. So we'll have to, I'll have to fix that. 
But I at least have some restrooms in here. I've got a little bit or a little area here where people can, um, you know, come and get some refreshments and everything. Let's go ahead and add some flooring in here just to make it look nice. Um, let's just go with blue carpet. I don't know why. I just feel like blue carpet needs to go in there. Um, and then I think maybe like a flight info display, maybe an extra large display needs to go like right there. I mean, no one's going to be walking in that area anyway, so that should work. And then give me a window here. We'll clear that off of there. Let's clear that off. All right, I'm liking that. That works. Um, Let's see, now this huge area here. I'm thinking, see, we have moving walkways, right? Yes, we do. So I'm thinking that to make it a little bit easier for passengers to get over there, if they're coming straight off security and if they go straight over there, let's do a moving walkway such as about that length. And then I'll do another moving walkway coming off. We'll go moving walkway coming this way. And then coming down this way. Is that going to be... Maybe. Maybe that'll work. There we go. That's better. It has to be a minimum length. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with that length there. That way, I mean, that way passengers just have the option to, you know, go a little bit faster if they want to. I like it. I like the moving walkways. I think they look really nice. I mean, that's what that kind of looks like for now. I might change that later. I don't know. We'll see. The airport seems to be handling everything pretty well, though. Definitely handling everything pretty well. I like it. Okay. All right. So we have this little corner taken care of. I think down here, I think what I might do is just put some... Um, Going to flooring, let's go with, let's see, I don't know, I don't know, there needs to be some kind of flooring in here though. Actually, let's go with this stone flooring here. Add that into there, and then add it into here. Oh, a lot of people using the flight info display. I like that. A lot of people coming in here, getting some refreshments. That's awesome. We're still in the hole $121,000 a day right now, though, unfortunately. There you go. See, passengers are definitely using the moving walkway. Love it. I might need to put a second one of those in there. Maybe. I don't know. But that works. This is this is a nice little corner. I'm kind of glad I did this today instead of the cafe because the cafe is going to be something completely different. It's going to be a lot more involved than what this was. Um, not entirely sure what we can do down here in these two squares. Um, the cafe, like I said, we'll definitely go here. We'll probably have like retail shops like right here. Ooh, that's actually a really good idea. I like that. Okay, so next time we'll do retail shops down here. Cafe we'll get in eventually. Um, I'm thinking retail shops first, though. And then what can I put out here in the middle? Why don't I put, uh, what if we put like a couple of stands or something? Like, um, isn't there like a newsstand? Yes, yeah, so we have like a newsstand that I can put out here. We'll go with a newsstand there. Um, let's go with, let's see, eh, retail. Um... Let's see, kiosk, kiosks. Pharmacy display, shoe display, pizza joint. Um, let's go with the coffee kiosk. So we'll have a newsstand, we'll have a coffee kiosk. I like that. And let's do um do something simple. Let's do a, a cafe table. Can I do a cafe table? 
Yeah, I mean, it's the only table that I really have. Um, so let's do a cafe table here. Another one there. Some I did what? One, two, three spaces. One, two, three spaces in between. Uh, and then a chair. Cafe chair. So we'll do that. There we go. There. That's a nice little area here. So we'll give people a chance to, you know, sit down and relax and take a load off and have a cup of coffee and... Um, do I need to hire people for this? Oh, I do. Okay. Interesting. Um, so then let's go into manage schedules. So operational hours, we'll have two people in here. Okay, so then that's where we're really going to need to get into um, the nitty gritty of the operational hours and everything. So once once we start getting more staff and stuff like that in here, um, obviously we're not going to need all of this open at once and we're not going to need all of the cafe workers in here. But like right now, it's 10 o'clock. These guys really need to go home, um, which we need to go into manage schedules, closed and you need to go home. Okay. So that's it. We're done. <laughs> I like that. That's that's pretty good. Um, you know, janitor's going through, cleaning up the place and everything. It's looking nice. But I think that's all we have for today. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you want to know more about me, check out the description below. Um, the Discord channel is down there. We're trying to uh, build up that community and everything. So go ahead and check that out. And go ahead and uh, check out the Twitch website as well. That is all I have. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.